Hello everyone and welcome to a very sharp tactical game from the 2005 Linares tournament. Uh, it's round 12 and it's Michael Adams with the white pieces against the none other than uh, Gary Kasparov. Uh, it's a remarkable game, you guys will enjoy it. But before we check out the actual game, as this is um, uh, Kasparov's last tournament as an active player. This was played like uh, on March 8, he retired, uh, or rather he announced his retirement on, uh, on March 10. Uh, I thought it'd be nice to, uh, to check this one out and uh, some of you might not know but he uh, actually won uh, the last event before retirement. Uh, but before we check out the game, uh, a gentleman on Twitter uh, messaged me that he created this. It's a library uh, or rather a repository on GitHub of all of the videos that I've created uh, and you can uh, search through them much more easily than you can on YouTube because YouTube, uh, I don't know, maybe a year ago or two years ago, uh, um, uh, well, they, they made some sort of an update where you cannot uh, uh, search everything the way you want it to. So the, the, uh, this uh, creation by this gentleman uh, allows you to search all of my videos. Um, uh, you can uh, search by a player name, you can search by opening, you can uh, search, uh, sort by published at title, player white, player black. You can uh, search by descending, ascending. Uh, for example, now at the moment, it's um, uh, my last video was this man plays incredible chess published on uh, in 2003, as you can see on the 11th of um, uh, of uh, February. And if you if you click ascending, then it goes all the way down to 2017 uh, June. So you can search pretty much anything. Like you can write here Magnus Carlsen. Uh, okay, it, it already uh, offers it. So Magnus Carlsen, let's say uh, Scotch, uh, Scotch game, C44 Scotch game. So you say, uh, give me all the videos that I've made uh, by Magnus Carlsen where uh, he played either white or black in the Scotch game. Or you can spe uh, specify uh, that you want only where he played white and where he played the Scotch or black where he played the Scotch. So if you have a certain player like you, you're interested in, um, if someone played the Sicilian Dragon, maybe you're interested if I have any videos, if Mikael Tal played the Sicilian Dragon or if Bobby Fischer played uh, the Knight or Four or something, you can easily search it here uh, and uh, okay there you have it um, uh, if we use these filters uh, there are five videos on my channel uh, Magnus Carlsen versus Alexander Nauman, Yanni Pomnichi versus Magnus Carlsen, Carlsen versus Nakamura, Carlsen versus Caruana and Carlsen versus Hikaru. Uh, here you can see Magnus having white pieces in three of those games and uh, 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 black pieces in two of those games. And you can also search by uh, filter by playing uh, playing moves. Uh, so you can just hit, uh, click here, filter by playing moves. And now you just, okay, let's say e4, e5, knight to f3, let's uh, go for some sort of a scotch here, d4, captures, captures, and now let's say, uh, let's say bishop to c5, uh, let's say bishop to e3, and let's say queen to f6. Uh, okay, there aren't any games with this particular move order, uh, but uh, uh, for example here, uh, up until this point, uh, yeah, you have like... Uh, uh, six games like you have uh, Ding versus Nepo, uh, World Chess Championship, uh, sort of a trailer that I've made. You you can watch that in from 2022. Uh, many games, Max Varmerdam versus Anna Marie Mitch. Uh, you, you remember the XQC versus Charlie, uh, legendary game. Of course, you all you all know that one. Uh, so it's a very very useful tool, and uh, you can uh, search quite a lot because I've made uh, I think now over three thousand videos. And if you enjoy the way I present videos, you can uh, easily search uh, what you are interested in. I will put a link to this uh, site in the description below. It's uh, agadmatterlibrary.github.io, uh, so you can uh, cho uh, choose and check everything for yourselves. So uh, that's pretty much it. What I wanted to mention. Uh, now let's check out the game. And yeah, I'll also sorry, but not posting any videos yesterday I um, I watched the Alexander Volkanovsky versus uh, uh, Islam Makachev uh, uh, fight and it was really incredible like like five rounds of grueling chess and uh, I was you know I watched interviews later and I've uh, watched what everyone else was saying about the match so I, I really enjoyed it that's why I didn't post any videos yesterday if there are any fans of, of MMA uh, w w what did you think about the fight uh, you know I'm very interested in 
uh, your opinion as well. So do share that in the comments. Now let's check out the game. So Michael Adams with the white pieces opens with e4. Uh, we have pawn to c5. Kasparov goes for his Sicilian defense. So you know this is going to be a good one. Knight of three d6 and an open Sicilian d4. Captures captures. We have knight to f6. Knight to c3 and Kasparov goes for the knight of variation pawn to a6. We have bishop to e3. Uh, the English attack, uh, of course, as Michael Adams is an English man e6 with bishop to e2 and now uh, queen to c7 still to this day the uh, top move uh, bishop to e7 and queen to c7 are the main lines uh, queen to d2 and now pawn to b5 uh, probably we will uh, have uh, castles on opposite sides of the board uh, so it makes sense to uh, start the, the flank attack as early as possible. So pawn to a3, stopping b4, bishop to b7, and now pawn to f3, defending that pawn and also preparing g4, h4, g5, and so on. So knight to c6 by Kasparov, and here uh, Adams just castles. We have pawn to b4, Kasparov does not uh, wait, wait around to see what happens on the king's side. Captures, captures, uh, and now, uh, and interestingly, uh, there is a game that reached this exact same position only a year after this game was played so in 2006 between uh Wojtek Plat and uh, Maxim Lagarde uh, where uh a capture some b4 was not recaptured but rather knight the b1 was played but here we have a capture some b4 and it is now as of move 12 that this position has never been repeated again so knight capture some b4 by Gary uh, we have pawn to g4 and now bishop to e7. We have pawn to g5. Kasparov shifts the knight to d7, goes to c5. Uh, pawn to h4. Adams continues his attack on the king side and Kasparov continues shifting the attention to the queen side. Knight c5. We have king to b1. Uh, always a useful prophylactic move. Uh, as long as the, the king is on c1, it's just not a very very good spot. Uh, I mean, uh, th this knight to b3 at some point could be very nasty. So king to b1 and now rook to b8. Now Kasparov uh, puts the rook on the semi-open b file, pawn to h5 and Kasparov just castles, not afraid of those advancing pawns and Michael does not um, uh, mess around. He goes for the immediate pawn to g6 as Tal would say uh, to make the attack happen a little bit, uh, just a little bit faster. Uh, and uh, he is correct here. If, for example, if you capture just h6 and black is in huge trouble here, like a bishop uh, f6, you could capture on g7, bishop captures a bishop h6 and already white's attack is happening. You're going to capture here, play queen to h6 and black is not surviving this. So instead after g6 we have bishop to f6 and now uh, rook d to g1. Beautifully placed rooks by, by Adams. Now uh, Kasparov has to be very very careful of what he does next and he plays bishop to a8. Uh, uh, this is um, uh, s surgically precise just opening up that b file for the rook. Uh, bishop to g5 as this bishop is a very strong attacking piece for Kasparov going after that b2 pawn. Adams of course wants to eliminate it but Kasparov plays bishop to e5 saying that you can never play uh, f4 as then the e4 pawn will hang. Uh, so what can Adams do here? Best for him uh, is bishop to e3 and then you just continue uh, pressing on the king side. But he rushed it a little bit. He played g captures on h7 with check. Kasparov recaptured king captures on h7 and now knight to b3. And here uh, there's just no going back from this. Here uh, Kasparov's attack becomes unstoppable. And this is how Kasparov starts it. Knight captures on c uh, sorry, knight captures on c2, uh, eliminating the defender of the knight on b3. So uh, Adams, if he captures, then Kasparov just captures on b3, not all that great. He captures on c5 first, but now knight to a3 with check. Of course, the b-pawn cannot capture, the b-pawn is pinned. King to a2 and now queen captures on c5. And now the problem is uh, if, if you capture here, then the c3 knight is undefended. For example, captures, captures, and you can pretty much resign here. So instead, after queen captures on c5, uh, Adams tried knight to a4, and it seems like uh, he uh, solved all of his problems. The queen will have to move. You're going to win the knight. The knight and queen guard the b2 pawn. Uh, seems like everything is perfectly fine, but there is one move, and it's such a devastating move that Kasparov can play. Uh, feel free to pause the video here and try to find this incredible idea while I give you a couple of seconds. So uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations on always looking for cool ways to sacrifice your queen. And for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, it is night to see you.
now the uh, the the position uh, changes drastically because the queen no longer guards the b2 pawn and if you capture the black queen then rook captures and b2 is mate in one the knight here covers a1 and a3 the white king has no squares left so here there's really nothing you can do it's such a such a such a devastating position that, that, that there's a, literally nothing you can do uh, uh in the game a uh, king to b1 was played but even if you play something like rook to b1 let's say you just want to guard your pawn hope good things might happen even a rook captures on b2 is enough to, to to just end the game rook captures on b2 and now look at this queen to a3 with check now you've removed the defender of the a3 square and now after king to b1 just rook to c8 or pretty much any move uh, uh, will be winning here there there's just uh, no nowhere for you to go you're completely tied down uh, this is just uh, game over. The rook can never capture here, otherwise uh, 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 queen a1 will be checkmate, and you have zero moves here. There, there, there is nothing you can do. So in the game, after knight to c2, king to b1 was played by Adams, uh, but here Kasparov just played queen to a3, and he was in this position, unmoved 26, that Michael Adams resigned the game, and a spectacular victory for Gary Kasparov with the black pieces in this very strongly Linares tournament of 2005. Uh, the reason uh, you resign here is, uh, well, there's just no defense. Uh, rook captures, knight captures, queen captures, and b2 will be checkmate. And if you capture the knight, which of course you can, rook f to c8. And that's it. Now the queen has to go somewhere, doesn't really have a good square. You're going to capture on a4. And again, rook captures on b2 is coming next. There is no defense. You could try to prolong with bishop to d1, uh, but even just bishop captures on e4 check. It's uh, the, the king has no squares. You're going to have to capture, capture. And then after you move the king, now you capture on b2. Rook captures. White will have to give up the queen. And OK, you do have some pieces for the queen, but still, uh, for example, after uh, king captures and b2 queen to d3 and there is no good way to stop checkmate like rook to h2 or something just rook to b8 check king to a2 now we're gonna play queen to b1 check uh, run the white king up the board queen to a1 with check and that's it queen c3 check king a4 and queen b4 uh, will be checkmate so of course uh, adams uh, knows this after queen to a3 he resigned and uh, as i've said a brilliant victory for kasparov with the black pieces against an in incredibly strong player and uh, these are the final standings of the tournament um, uh, it was a, a double round robin, uh, uh, sort of sharing uh, first place uh, Gary Kasparov and Vesel and Topalov with 8 out of 12, followed by uh, Anand with 6.5, uh, Petro Leko with 6, Michael Adams with 5.5, um, uh, Paco Ejo with 4, and Rustam Kasimjanov also with 4 points. Uh, but uh, even though uh, Kasparov was tied with Topalov, and even though Kasparov lost his uh, encounter uh, uh, against Topalov, it was it was the final round of the tournament, and uh, probably one of the reasons why uh, Kasparov not, not the only reason, of course, but one of the reasons Kasparov decided to. Uh, uh, retire from chess is that uh, he shouldn't have lost that game and uh, he he still did and he said that okay that that uh, uh, we cannot allow this it's time to it, 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 it's time to retire uh, but uh, Kasparov won the tournament because even though uh, he lost his encounter to Topalov and they had uh, uh, equal points, Kasparov had more wins with the black pieces which was a more important criteria uh, at least for this tournament. Uh, so yeah, uh, a little bit of uh, history there. Hope you guys enjoyed that and that you've seen uh, how, how to attack with the black pieces. Uh, as I will, uh, 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 once I publish the video, it will also be searchable on that um, uh, GitHub repository. So do use it if you have any um, uh, games that you, you uh, maybe don't know if I've covered. And if you are trying to su suggest a game, you can always use hashtag suggestion for me to, to show a game. You can first check if I've already done maybe a video on that game or maybe even if I have, maybe it's an older video like from 2018. Uh, maybe I can do a remake on it if it was a really bad video because I, I do have those as well. Uh, so, you know, use it. It's, it's, a, it's a brilliant um, uh, library. Uh, ho hope it, uh, you know, uh, comes in handy to you guys. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's the game. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Uh, I would like to wish a very happy birthday to Magnus Kemp. Uh, and I would like to thank Bocho, Kenneth Fraser, Dabakus, and CDs for trade for your contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching and I will see you soon continuing to check up on your wonderful suggestions uh, and whatever else happens in the chess world. Uh, so thank you all. I will see you soon and have an excellent rest of your day.